Hi Taurus sisters, it's Amy. I want to do a show and tell and tell you about the new gratitude journal that is on my website for you to download. First thing I want you to know is I made this originally for the Homeschooling Torah conference attendees over at homeschoolingtorah.com. This week they are having a fabulous conference. You can watch the replays later. And even if you don't homeschool, it's really more of a family conference. So if you have kids, if you have a husband, uh, go and watch the videos. Anne is going to do some fantastic teachings over there focusing on marriage, family, and gratitude. So this is for you ladies over there. Uh, second thing I want you to know about this is that I'm giving this to you because I'm thankful for you. As I worked through this project, originally I was going to sell this. I was going to make this a paid product on my store. But um, as I worked through it, I realized I cannot sell this. <laughs> I want you to have this. And because I have gratitude for you ladies, whether you've purchased my stuff in the past or you pray for me or you share my stuff or like my Facebook page, all those things encourage and bless me. So thank you, this is a gift for you. So here's what you get in this download packet. I will not mail this to your house. You download it yourself. You print it yourself at your house on your printer. You're gonna get a whole bunch of these journal pages, which I'll show you in a second, give you some tips and tricks. You're also gonna get gratitude verses there are this is a list of 52 verses about gratitude one for every week and i'll show you what you can do with those but you don't have to do what i say here this is yours you do whatever you want uh, one thing i want you to know about this is as i was putting these verses together and pulling out verses about gratitude i realized a lot of them are from psalms and a lot of them are almost identical <laughs> to each other and at first I was like, oh, that verse is too similar. I have to find a new verse. And then I stopped myself and I said, no, 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 no. There's a reason the Psalms repeat so many times practically the same thing about God's goodness and his mercy and, and being grateful for that. So I left them in here. So meditate on those verses and realize that when it's repeated in scripture, it's probably important. So journal pages, Bible verses, and you're gonna get 52 scripture posters, one for every verse on this list. Everything in here, the colors are very soft, very neutral, very gentle colors, but very pretty. So every poster has one of those verses. So you can print the ones, just the ones you want, or you can print one every week. You use this however you want to use it. So let me go through the journal part. If you print this and you make it into a binder, you can pick your cover. I, I gave two cover options here. And again, ladies, with these things like, like this, you don't have to use every page in here. That would probably be too much and you don't have time for that. But you just print the pages that you think are useful to you and how you want to do this. And maybe you, you feel the Holy Spirit leading you to focus on gratitude for a month. And so you're only going to use this for a month. Okay, you can do that. So just print the pages you need, the pages you want. You don't have to print the whole file. So first is an option for you. Maybe you want to do a daily gratitude, just sort of journaling. This is just a blank page for writing down your thoughts. Uh, this is a page with some prompts, things you can do in the morning. What will I focus on today? Keep Start your day off right with choosing your focus. What gratitude verse do you want to use for this morning? I mean, again, if you're only doing this for 30 days, you can pick 30 verses from here um, and just copy them over. And of course, if you don't like the names I use, just change the names. You, you can do that. Things you're excited about the day and what you're grateful for today. Maybe you want to do it on a weekly basis. This is more of a weekly overview. What is your verse for the week? Again, you have 52 verses here, 52 weeks. And each day of the week, write down things that you're grateful for that day. Here's another weekly. Uh, if you want to start maybe some sort of habits to get you refocused on gratitude, uh, maybe three times a day you're going to pray or in the morning, you're going to write a thank you card to someone else to express your gratitude towards them. Maybe you're gonna uh, memorize a verse each morning. Whatever it is, you can write down the habits that you want to do throughout the day and check off when you've done them. Keep yourself accountable. This is a year overview. You can look back on the months and see the things that you were grateful for. A happy list. What brings you joy and reminds you of your blessings? Write those things down here. And those times uh, that always come, I know they come where we feel kind of 
like having a little pity party for ourselves for this reason or that reason, and you want a quick reminder of things that help you get out of that <laughs> mindset, write those things down here. It, it, it probably will include, uh, write down passages that refocus you, write down things you do, um, things you listen to, YouTube worship playlists that inspire you to refocus and get out of that um, slump of discontentment. So that's things I might put on my happy list. Memorials and answered prayers. This page, uh, you here's my idea for this page. We see throughout scripture that uh, when, when the Father does something awesome for his people, they set up a memorial of stones to remember it. And then when they can tell their children, this memorial of stones reminds us of this thing that the Father did for us. So, I mean, you could put stones in your backyard or you can write down the stories. <laughs> so write down the stories uh, of how the Father provided, how he answered prayer for you or your family. And then maybe once a year, read these um, either to yourself or out loud to your family. Uh, maybe during the Feast of Sukkot is a good time to, uh, a time of joy to remember God's faithfulness throughout not just the year, but forever. So maybe you have a special binder and over the years, you're going to collect a whole bunch of these papers of your family stories of God's faithfulness to you. So this could be like your memorial binder. So there's only one of this in here, but you're going to print it over and over and over to use it multiple times. A serving list. So see the world says to be grat grat you know, gratitude is really, the world is very self-centered about it. And actually I'll tell you a side story. When I was looking at the internet, I'm like, okay, what, what are good things to put in a gratitude journal? What do other people put in gratitude journals? Most of them out there, even some of the Christian ones are extremely self-centered. And that to me is not biblical. And as I worked through this project, I was reminded over and over again that gratitude is actually Yah-centered and it's other-centered. So we all know that when we are in a funk and we're feeling discontent about our lives for whatever reason, and sometimes we have genuine issues and problems that are difficult circumstances in our lives. One of the ways to recenter our hearts is to get outside of ourselves and to serve others. And so along with that other, this is a lot like that other happy list, what, some things that you can do to serve others that part of the fruit of that is that it also helps you recenter your heart towards things that are good. Um, so it might be giving your kids ice cream sundaes or having a tickle fight with your kids or um, taking a meal to somebody or setting aside time to pray for other people in their needs, which often reminds us of how good we have it, right? When, you, when you're praying for others going through difficult circumstances. So write down things, ways that you um, feel called to serve others because everybody's lists are different, especially in regards to our, our spiritual gifts. Um, I imagine your list is going to be very heavily slanted towards your spiritual gifts in serving the body of Messiah. But I put this in here because a biblical worldview says that gratitude includes serving others. I just can't separate it. And I don't think you'll find this in any other gratitude journal out there, which is sad. A lot of the gratitude journals out there that I saw were even just very new agey about manifesting and all this nonsense. No, 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 no. Uh, we focus on the word and what the word, word tells us about the father, his nature, who Yeshua is, and our role here on, on this earth. As some of you, you might just want to write a prayer. You just need to write out your thoughts and, and talk to the father like this. And that recenters your heart on your blessings and all the good things in your life. Some of you, you might um, want to go for a gratitude walk. So there's some prompts here about things you can think about and meditate on, starting with scripture, <laughs> on, on a walk. Literally getting outside your house and going for a walk. Don't make this complicated. You don't need fancy shoes to go for a walk or fancy stretch pants or anything. You can just walk. Um, and I'm finding that this helps me a tremendous amount. And I, I put here, what does... By the end of your walk, talking and walking and talking to the Father, what did he, what did the Spirit tell you is truth versus what nonsense was in your head about your situation that wasn't really quite true or biblical? So focus, focus, focus on, on what is good. Gratitude journal, just very simple. What are you grateful for and why? 
And again, you don't have to use all these pages. Use the ones that you like. Gratitude towards others. Again, others focused. Who am I thankful for and how did I tell them so? I know there's people in your life that you're thankful for, but it means a lot. You know how this feels when um, you get a card or you get a phone call or some flowers or something um, expressing, letting, you know, when people let you know that they appreciate you, give that back to them too. And your just a blank page for notes. So in one of these, the weekly ones, and in any of these, you can write down verses. I mean, there's always extra room to write on these. Make these your own. Scribble all over it. Um, and that's also why I gave you 52 verses about gratitude to get you started in case you just want to copy some of these over um, or rewrite them yourself somewhere else. And then all the scripture posters that go with each verse. Everything is very neutral, very natural. Colors, very... Um, just, I think they're lovely. <laughs> you know, I love making this stuff. So I pray that this blesses you, sisters. Thank you for everything you do for me. I'm happy to give this to you. Bye.